Good morning, it's Thursday the 28th of May. This is your ETS Capital Morning Market Buy. To round up what happened in the Asian session overnight, we had the Nikkei close at an all-time high from 1988, finishing up 0.7% at 20. 55 one spot four six uh, of course mainly helped by a weaker yen um, stimulated from easing measures over in japan sending the index through to all-time highs it actually reached a 15-year high um, intraday trading yesterday over in the uh, asian session us wise down closing up 0.67 percent 181.62 spot 99 uh, s p also gaining just shy of one percent finishing at 21.23 spot four eight um, really, uh, in FX, the main talk at the moment is uh, dollar strength, helped of course by the comments from Yellen towards the end of last week um, that a potential interest rate hike is on the cards this side of Christmas for 2015. Um, so we actually had dollar trade a 13 year high against the yen yesterday at 124 spot 3. Um, currently trading up this morning just over the 124 level, 124 spot 1 2. Uh, you also had the euro uh, trading reasonably weak against the dollar at the moment, uh, down over 400 points from this time last week. Uh, it's currently trading just just over 109, 109.05, uh, and it hit a one-month low yesterday of 108.19. Um, so again, really mainly attributed to dollar strength uh, and the underlying theme of the Greek issue, uh, which of course is being discussed in the G7 meetings uh, throughout the end uh, of this week so not too much to report from G7 meetings at the moment uh, the main focus of course is not the Greek issue but it's said to be discussed on the sidelines so it may well be that we see at the press conference today in the afternoon uh, more information about Greece and if there's a potential default on the cards or an extension on loan agreements uh, for them to eventually reach a deal. Uh, over in commodities at the moment uh, you have Brent Trading up 0.7% yesterday, $62.5 per barrel. Uh, similarly, NYMEX trading up 0.3% at $57.69 per barrel. Um, so we've seen a, a little bit of a sell-off in commodities at the moment. Reuters reporting uh, yesterday uh, that actually there's 70% uh, of ETFs this year are long on commodities. Um, that's 2015 year to date. So quite an interesting stat uh, from Reuters yesterday. Uh, this morning. Um, Kingfisher, biggest riser in the FTSE, trading up 2.3%, 3.37.5. That's uh, after posting a 1.4% rise uh, in first quarter retail profit. Uh, biggest loser this morning was Tate and Lyle. They're down 4.3%, trading at 5.73.5. Uh, this really uh, following an adjustment of um, profits. Uh, to come in line with expectations. They've announced that the restructuring process is going to take some time to yield fruit. Uh, so we're seeing a, a bit of a sell-off in the stock on the open this morning. Uh, in terms of announcements today, of course, the, the G7 meetings are an ongoing uh, event. So it may well be we see a press conference this afternoon giving us more insight into what's being discussed. Uh, we also have preliminary GDP data out of the US today at 1.30. It's forecast at minus 0.8%. A previous level was 0.2%. Right. That's all for today. Thank you.